guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for this next review. I am going to be reviewing the Lipstick Chateau Wine Lip Tints. These have been everywhere in the Korean beauty, makeup, guru, YouTube, fashion, vlogs, wherever else you can think of. I did hear of these by a certain XO song, Lotto. La, 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 la. I decided, you know what? Lip tints made of wine. How have I not heard of that before? And how has nobody really thought of that before? I mean, come on. Not in America. How did people not think of that? So, I'm gonna be trying out these three babies right here. And uh, unfortunately, one of them had a little accident on the way over here which luckily there is still some product in it but unfortunately it was the one that i was really wanting to try out ironically uh one of them did have a couple of spills but it wasn't too drastic and then the other one was like totally completely fine nothing wrong with it so these are what the actual bottles look like i am obsessed they come sporting in these really cute wine bottle details so the colors that i got are CR01, which is this really pretty coral pinkish based one. Then I got RD02, which is a really slightly pinkish red burgundy almost type of color. This would probably be really good for fall. And then the last one, which was the one that was really damaged, which is the PK01, which is this really nice slightly baby doll pinkish and so yeah let's get into these so i'm gonna start off with actually the lightest one and so here we go let's see i'm gonna be using the green finer so that's gonna be fun okay right away it feels a bit watery like slightly but it smells like freaking berries. Oh my god. Like, y'all. Why did I say y'all? This is actually a really pretty pink color. I'm actually gonna zoom in to my lips. Sorry if you guys are gonna get kinda. This isn't as bright as I thought it was gonna be, which is actually really, really nice. It's more of a nice natural pink color, which I'm actually kinda glad it's not as bright because I'm not too much into the really bright baby baby doll pink so while it's not really true to color I, I like it it's more of a springtime kind of look you could wear it even in the summertime I do feel it drying quite quickly so if you're going for a more natural type of look this would actually be really good I actually really really like it I had my hopes high for this one so, so we're going to try and take this off. I'm going to be using a baby wipe because that's how I roll. That and I don't have any makeup wipes right now. So let's see. Okay, so this next one is going to be the coral-like one. Coral! <laughs> Anybody else watch The Walking Dead? I actually don't watch The Walking Dead. My mom and my brother do. They are obsessed with it, but me and my brother always talk about coral. Wow, this is really orangey. Okay, so I don't want you guys to get alarmed because this is actually not the actual, the true color. It's bring the camera for some reason is bringing out the more orange tones in it. I don't know why, but in real life, because I'm looking at a mirror right here, it's bring it's literally the same exact color as this one. So the camera kind of shows it kind of close it's just bringing out the orange more but in real life literally what you see here is what you get and I also want to say that these are actually quite not drying or anything like that they're obviously producing enough color for me at least I wouldn't say that they're highly moisturizing or anything like that but the color payoff so far is pretty good so next is the RD02. Let's see what this one brings. I'm just gonna smell it. Oh, 
<laughs> I look like I, I'm a five-year-old. This is kind of watery. Okay, so... This is actually a really pretty color on and off screen. On screen, it's giving a more red effect and I actually just realized that I actually have it on the high mode because it's really dark in my room. I don't have any lights other than the ones above my head and actually that's what got me thinking. I was just thinking as I was removing the other lipstick that that's probably why the other lip tint looked more orange. It is a bit more darker off screen than it is on screen so it's I can't really say it's literally like this even off screen it's a more red so it's more true to this color I'm actually gonna try to test see how lip tinty these little babies are I'm gonna do it on my hand right here and oh look for your kissing pleasure uh, there is a slight I don't know if you guys can see it like literally just tiny sliver of defeat if I go kind of like right there right there I don't know if you guys can see it I don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's right there but it's like very 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 slight so you guys can go ahead and kiss to your absolute pleasure um, without it absolutely sticking to your specific other and be happy that you will not ruin his or her makeup dressing collar neck I don't I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say and I'm also way too close for you guys so I'm gonna go back it up I'm gonna back it up back it up okay so I really like this color so I'd have to say that I really like these wine lip tints these are actually really fun purely for makeup pleasure even decoration pleasure where's my other one hit it I feel like I want to try the other ones because there are two other lip tints they also actually have lips Sticks, which are also in the same type of bottle but they open differently and they actually have a blender brush in it and seeing as how much I like these bibbies I really want to try them out uh, unfortunately they are like 20 bucks a pop and I'm a lowly college student who has only a part-time job I actually have to give these a 4.5 out of 5 on a rating scale I just really love the packaging I think they produce enough color. Also, if you guys did not know, Chateau Laviote. Is that how you say it? Chateau Laviote? Or is it Chateau Laviote? I don't know. I'm not French. I wish I were. I'm only an American, okay? They are actually the sister company of Tony Moly. And I did not know that until I was reading up about these guys. And I was like, what? I love Tony Moly. How did I not how did I not know that? And I mean, Tony Moly is really great for, you know, their products and things like that. So, I mean, I wasn't expecting any less from this company. So yeah, these are great. I highly suggest you guys try them out. And I also want to show you guys the results of, don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, that's where the pink one, this one, came in. I was very upset. I did email the, they didn't really do anything, so that was a little bit disappointing. But whatever, it's not a tragedy, no lives were lost in the making of this video or in the shipping of this beauty product. So, and so yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. I'm trying to hurry up because I'm less than 20 seconds. So I want to see you guys later and in my next video. Hope you guys have a awesome, fabulous, fantastic day. And I'll see you guys later. I'm pretty sure I said that already. Okay, bye. I'm going to go.